Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is a price analysis update on Veracity, which is ticker VRA. We'll have a look at the previous video and those at levels that I did identify, and then we'll have a look at some new key levels where we could potentially invest, some price targets and accumulation points, and then a bit of a price prediction thrown in there to have a look at exactly where we could look to, to take some major profit on this cycle. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button, and let's crack on. So welcome to the channel. This video is in partnership with Cointelegraph Markets Pro. It's a place where you can get news indicated as it happens directly to your phone or to your device. It is a great place to find information, historical data on certain assets which you hold. So go and check it out. There's a full review on the whole page of my YouTube channel. So this is a previous VRA video that I did uh, back on the 26th of October. I did say this region around here, around 0 0.077, and um, ladded down to around 0 0.072, was the area I would consider for buy zones. Jumping ahead to the current market um, situation, as you can see, we did reject, and we'll come all the way down to 0 0.068, uh, and you can see we've been using this Fibonacci 0 0.382, as support so those areas i did target was here so if you managed to watch that video and buy in happy days you would have picked up some vra within that trading area so um things are all looking okay there we've done a retrace and it looks like we're just starting to, to bounce back up if you look at a four hour time frame um we've had a couple of candles to the upside there and it looks like we're starting to just slowly create a little bit of an uptrend here so let's hope we can um, hang on to this trend line and start pushing up and then going back up towards to target that um that all-time high but let's have a zoom out back to the daily and just see what's going on in the bigger picture uh, we've had a huge cupping handle falling wedge breakout to upside followed by a bull flag and again we've had a great rise but it is pretty much a consolidation area around here now we're just um consolidating under around eight cent and anything below it is just getting snapped up and anything above it is just getting sold off so for me that just shows that there is a little bit of price suppression there then potentially some of the early investors are just starting to take off profit as well once that's done the price will then start to reflect that and start to push up because the the metaverse sector the gaming sector throughout crypto is really starting to pick up some steam now and the, the gaming sector through veracity is just another way to get involved with crypto and gaming so for me this is a great project and a long term haul but let's just have a look at the current situation let's just put a little bit of a bearish spin on this first and have a look at a few areas where we could buy what i want to do is have a look at we'll have a look at the latest move so we broke out out of that bull flag there we'll come back retested that bull flag and then push it upside and you can see every time we get in any type of price action we're pretty much selling off so we would rise up back down to this area rise up back to this area and then we've had a nice steady retracement so it does show that this area around that seven cent is that region where people are looking to buy so if we just put i don't want to do i'm going to put a nice box within that range there so this is that area where there is demand and that is where people are buying it back up every time it pushes up here it is selling off but in terms of fibonacci from the um from the start of a the move there on that red wick up to the top it's very very close to 61 percent retracement there i mean very close or thereabouts and it's just sat nicely above it i mean let's look if it's at 50 percent fib yeah, the 50% fib is pretty much acting as support there too, but I tend not to use them to just get rid of that. But that is the area. If you're looking for buys, I'll just maybe put it down to there. 7 cent, 6.9, 6.8, 6.7. That is the area I would consider for buys if you're looking to get into veracity. So that's the, the little bit of a bearish scenario there. See if we reject off this area, 0 0.075. If we do reject off there again, like it has already, I see we broke through on that candle there. If you just have a bit of zoom in. We actually bust through it and then rejected straight through it and um, we are just starting to trend up like i said let's see if we can trend up now break through that area so we're looking to break through this area once we do push above it maybe we can then start target some areas above and that's what we'll talk about next areas where we could potentially look to take profit and in terms of price discovery we can still keep this fibonacci on over this latest move and if you're looking for some some price targets we've obviously got 10 cent up there I think it'll be a tough one to get through 10 cent because this is obviously in price discovery and it is a round number 
This is the area where you will see quite a substantial amount of cells coming through at 0.096, maybe even up to around 0.099. There's going to be a lot of front running selling orders there, so just be wary. If you bought down at one cent and you're thinking, right, I've 10 X's, so I want to sell at 10 cent. Don't sell at 10 cent right on my nose because you will get front run by the big orders there. So just drop some orders in, uh, probably around 0.098. So that's some um, areas where you could buy and then the first area we consider taking profit but also what we need to take a look at is some some longer term predictions and some pretty much price predictions really and and for this what we can do is several things what i've got is a fibonacci on from the previous highs all the way to the lows and then we can use some of these extensions on the way up and these will give us some good targets for um, some areas to consider to take in profit Personally, I think we can shoot up way above 32 cent at some stage over this cycle, whether that be the end of December or whether that's going into January, February, March time. I do think that's a possibility that we can push up to there. I mean, I've seen a lot of price predictions of one, two, three dollars, maybe ten dollars. Um, I think we're a little bit extreme. And um, for me, I think personally this can hit up towards 45, 50 cent at some stage in um, over this the course of this cycle because when things do start to get pushing. You will see some major, major growth. But if you're looking to take profit on the way up, which I highly recommend you do, um, do not hold your entire bag waiting to make a million dollars. It just doesn't work like that. Um, you're better off taking profit on the way up. Even if it's 1% or 2%, just keep skimming profit up. So look at 11 cent, 13, 17, 23. Then start looking at around 25 and 13. 32 cent will probably be a decent area to take profit. If you're struggling to know how to take profit and what to do about it, we talk about that in my Patreon group. It's a Discord server and also a, a platform where I give daily analysis. And we've also got a bit of a crypto academy there with loads of lessons. And if you need to know anything about taking profit, ask them in that channel there. We've got a lot going on. We've got a new uh, crypto academy there, which is, is getting built out as a speaker. There's going to be a lot more lessons, tutorials, articles going in there. So there's a lot of work coming and there's going to be um, a lot of information there for especially new people to crypto. Um, it's a great place for you to learn and join in an, an active community. Um, so that's pretty much VRA covered in terms of where to buy, where to sell, price predictions, and just my general thoughts on my asset. What I just want to take a look at next is a BTC pairing. Not many people trade in BTC, but one thing I will just let you know is that if you're ever looking to build your Bitcoin using altcoins, this is the pairings you should use. Use a BTC pairing. So <clears throat> you should tie this in with the Bitcoin dominance chart. So look at this. This is at currently 42. I just want to zoom out to a weekly time frame. This is something I showed to my guys in a Patreon. If you're ever looking to accumulate Bitcoin, use altcoins and use the um the altcoin dominance sorry the market dominance chart for bitcoin whenever dominance is low on bitcoin you should be buying bitcoin whenever it's high you should be buying altcoins and rinse and repeat that method i will drop this chart in a patreon so if you're there you can see it and and see exactly um, when is the right time to buy and sell but just going back to vra there in that btc pairing if you're looking for some buys I would still target down here at nine uh, around 9181 satoshis i think that's a region um where we could potentially see some action because it is a previous high back here so there's a good chance that we could start to just drop here as you can see uh let's just get rid of that noise there we're starting to downtrend a little bit here and um, which is probably not the best sign if you look at that we're starting to trend down and if we start coming down here we are going to fill some orders at around 9,000, 9,100 sats before we then do start to push on. I think there's a good chance that we do come down and retest this trend, which is the uptrend now. So just look at that. Uh, that's more accurate. So there's a good chance to come back down, retest 9,000 sats before we then do start to push on. So if you just put a bit of a path on that, obviously we've had a, a impulse move way up, retested that trend up again, retest. I'm expecting another test of that trend before we then do start to push on. Um, and really target some new highs because this is close to all-time highs in Satoshi's. If you look at some of the previous altcoins back from 17, they're nowhere near the all-time highs in Satoshi. So it just show that we still have a lot of growth incoming. So that's going to do it for this video. You will find the links to all my um, socials within the description of this video. If you are new here, please make sure that you do hit that like button, that you are subscribed, and I'll catch you next time.